So next up, this is a twofer. Uh, Bitcoin just four days away from historically bullish 10K price record. The problem with that is that we are four days away from the presidential election. So we'll see exactly how that works out. But what this is, is all about data and analytics. So Bitcoin has spent 100 days above 10,000. That's pretty good. And they're talking about if it history repeats itself, we're in the uh, market. It could be an astronomical bull run, but uh, we'll see. And it's all about this analytics from CoinMetrics. And it states after trading above certain price points, specifically for 100 days, Bitcoin gained an enormous amount of magnitude for the market. For example, ever staying above 10 bucks for 100 days, it took only 122 days, four months roughly, for Bitcoin to reach 100 bucks. Now, after cracking $100 or 100 days above 100 bucks, then $1,000 happened in just two days. So imagine that. It's been four months, you put 100 bucks into Bitcoin, and you 10x yourself in four months. That is insane. So, looking at the difference between 1,000 and 10,000, the time period was longer. It was a whopping 150 days, so we're looking at five months, to crack five figures after trading at four. Well, what a bummer that is, right? This is a, an analytics resource called The Tie, which is Josh Frank's company. This guy is everywhere. So The Tie is a data analytics company. They provide the services for Alex Maschioli and his product called Trade the Chain. If you haven't seen it, there's a link in the description, and there's a video I did about it. It's about 25 minutes long or so, and it just talks about how to pretty much dominate the market through sentiment analysis and news and alerts that you can get on your phone. So just watch the video and you'll you figure out what I'm talking about. But anyhow, to finish this up, the second longest period for Bitcoin uh, from uh, the 100 days was in December 2017 when Bitcoin surpassed 10,000 for the first time, just days before it increased by almost 80% to set its all-time record high of 20 grand. Third was in August 2019 when Bitcoin traded within a 20% range for nearly four months. So here's what it all comes down to. And the rest is just boring. What it all comes down to is this. If we can keep 100 days, which I think we're going to, depending on this election, uh, we're going to see some massive fireworks. And uh, I, for one, cannot wait. So this is what I'm talking about, though, as far as like the wet blanket. And the wet blanket is Bitcoin, it states, suddenly slides 4% as Bank of America predicts a 20% stock market crash. Now, for us in the crypto market, 20% is a Tuesday. That is no big deal. But for the traditional market, that is like the end all be all. The sky is falling. I have to jump off my roof. That doesn't matter for us. However, if it does uh, crash a little bit, fantastic, because all those traditional players that have come from the traditional market into cryptocurrency will start selling, aka C. Portney from Barstool Sports, who sold at the slightest amount of losses. And again, if you do that, I will thank you uh, tremendously, and I will hold your weak hands as you drop those bags so that I can buy them. So what's going on here? So with five days left to the U.S. presidential election, Bank of America suggested a 20% drop is possible. Why, why, why? Well, according to BOA of economists led by Michelle Mayer, the election result is not the biggest threat to equities. That's not it. What it is, it is whether a contested election occurs uh, that could cause the markets to rattle due to the uncertainty because investors do not like uncertainty. You know who does like uncertainty? Traders. I'm not a trader. If you are a trader, hats off to you. This could be a fantastic opportunity. The markets could still rally regardless of who wins the election. I've always said that. I think it's if Trump gets elected, there's going to be a little bit of a bump, but the market's still going to go down. If Biden gets elected, it'll slump a little bit, maybe a little pump a little bit, but then it's going to go down because, again, you can't print this much money. You can't have this many problems. You can't see businesses going out of business. And, of course, the fiat is on fire. That's why Michael Silver and Michael Strategy got out of it. I just don't see how the market's going to stay up regardless of who wins. But a contested election really could lead to a massive slump, slump more so than a non-contested election. So landslide victory for the Trump or Biden and rapid election conclusion would likely be welcomed, while a severely contested election could see risk off and drive 10-year rates material lower. So here's, here's the thing. Uh, it's going to be hotly contested. You're not going to see uh, a bunch of uh, people just go, oh, 
it's going to be okay, and this guy won, it's all right. So the only way this could happen is if Trump wins by a little bit or a lot. It, that part doesn't matter. The problem that's going to be an, an issue is if Biden comes in closely, I don't even care if he wins in a line slide, because there's still going to be hotly contested debates, especially with all the absentee ballots, and then talk about fraud. So it doesn't matter if Biden wins a little or Biden wins a lot. It's still going to be contested, and that is going to lead to a lot of uncertainty. That's going to lead a lot of traditional players start to sell, and the ones that are here are going to sell. And that's where you and I come in because we have ice in our veins. We know where this market is going, and we are waiting for the weak hands to drop their bags. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comments section, and that is it for today. So first, I want to say thanks for sticking with me throughout the whole video. I really appreciate it. If you don't know, uh, I have this handy dandy exchange and wallet fees spreadsheet. It goes everything from everything that I've ever used from Coinbase, which I don't do too much anymore, to Kraken, Celsius, Voyager, my one, two, three punch, Gemini, KYC, not me, SwiftX. Hey, if you don't know, if you're in Australia, SwiftX, SwiftX, that's a great place because they give you your own customer service rep. Is that crazy? That's crazy. Coinbase, hope you're listening because that's how you do customer service right. I don't know anything else about it. Seems like the rates are pretty uh, competitive. So if you're in Australia, check them out. And then uh, something like Uniswap, SimpleSwap, Abra, all those things, right? You can find the link in the description below. Looks something like this. And as you know, as our next bull run comes up, just be aware that you should have as many options as humanly possible. Now you can use my links or not, but if you use the links, you get between 10 and $25 when you sign up. So again, that's it for today. Thanks for sticking with me and I'll see you on the next one.